names. His name is Jesus. His name is Lord. Your name is higher than every other name. Your name is Jesus. Your name is Lord. Heavenly Father, we worship you. We thank you for the name of Jesus Christ that you have given us. Oh, thank you, Lord, for the name. Thank you for Jesus Christ that you sent to come and died for our sins, that the whole world may be redeemed. We are grateful, Lord. I am grateful. Lord, this moment in your presence, this moment on this new White Gospel TV, I thank you for this soul that you have brought your way. Thank you, Lord, for what you have proposed to do in his life, in her life, in her family, in her children, in her job, in her business. Lord, because you have brought her this way, you have a miracle for her. You have a miracle for him. You have a miracle for this soul. And so, in the name of Jesus, have your way. Thank you for this moment. Every word that is put sitting out of my mouth this moment, Lord, I know it will not return to me empty. I know they will come back with testimonies, with healings, with deliverances, with miracles, with signs, with wonders, to the glory and praise of your name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hello, viewer. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. I welcome you on this Gospel TV the New Wine Gospel Ministry Television. My name is Evans, Pastor Evans Akajuba. We are reaching you live from Orlando, Florida, in the United States of America. I know wherever you are, you may be in Canada, you may be in Australia, you may be in Europe, whatever part of Europe you are. You may be in Africa, you may be in Nigeria particularly. You may be in Ghana, you may be anywhere. Any part of Asia, wherever you are. I'd like you to know that Jesus is right there. You are now. And he has made you to twin in because he loves you so much because he wants to touch your life in a very different way. He wants you to experience peace wherever you have been having troubles, wherever you have been having problems. He wants you to experience joy, wherever you have been having sorrows, wherever you have been having discomfort. He wants to make your life comfortable like you never ever dreamed before. So I'd like you to consider yourself a candidate of miracle. Right there you are now. As you're listening, as you're watching, God is touching you life in Jesus' name. Amen. This moment, God has laid it on my mind to share this word with you. I don't know whatever that challenge is you are in right now. That's problem that is speaking to you. That is engulfing your thought, engulfing your strength, your energy, paralyzing your vision, whatever it is. The word of God is coming expressly. And the power of God 
will set you free in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So I read Mark chapter 11. Mark chapter 11. I'm reading verse 22. From verse 22. And Jesus answering said unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he says. He shall have whatsoever he says. I want to speak briefly to us, to you, on this subject. What are you saying? What are you saying? I'd like you to know that Jesus died for the world. He did not die just for the church. He died for everybody. He died for every soul, everyone. Your Muslim, whatever religion you belong to. Jesus died for you. Uh, that's why he said, whosoever. I like that word. I want you to pay attention to that word. He said, whosoever shall say to this mountain. What is that mountain in your life? It can be sickness. It can be financial issues. It can be family problems. It can be that you have been abused to the point that you don't want nobody. You can't explain. You, cannot, you don't want to go out. There is no person to talk to. But I have good news for you this moment. Because you have tuned in to this gospel TV this moment, God is touching, healing every brokenness in your spirit, soul, and body in the name of Jesus. So he said, whosoever, whosoever that can talk to the mountain, whosoever. So what is that mountain in your life? Is it a sickness? Is it a cancer? Whatsoever it is. It says, you shall have what you say. You shall have what you say. So what are you saying in this moment? Have you come to the point where your mouth, the devil has shut your mouth? Now all you are thinking is the negativities. What is this going to end? How is this going to end? My brother, my sister, I'd like you to know that a closed mouth is a closed destiny. And that's what the devil wants you to do. That's what he wants you to shut that mouth. And when you want to release it, when you want to say anything, all you will say, oh, this is painful. Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh, I'm confused. Oh, what can I do? There's no way out. Has the enemy brought you to that point where there is no more thing coming out of your mouth than doom? 
there is a way out for you this moment in the mighty name of Jesus. Because the word is coming to you. You see the word I speak to you, they are alive. They are spirit. They are alive. The word of God is life. As you're hearing it, the Zoe, life of God, is entering every part of your life. Your spirit, your soul, your body. The word of God divides. It enters every part of you. Your marrow, your joints, every part of you. The word is coming right now, life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'd like you to receive this word in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So it says, speak to this mountain. Speak to that mountain. Verse 24, of that very place of this um, Mark 11, continue. He said, therefore I say unto you, what things soever you desire. <laughs> What do you desire out of this situation right now? What do you desire out of this situation right now? We're going to pray. You're going to say something to that situation. You're going to say something to that mountain, that sickness. I will not die. I will live. You're going to say something to that problem. This season is passing away. A new season is coming to me. You're going to say something to every issue, every thing that stays as a mountain. You're going to say something. But I want to take this moment to present to you Jesus Christ because he is the power behind this word he is the power that will deliver you he is the power that will make you whole he is the power that can save you from that challenge he is Jesus Christ he said if you say he is Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. So I want you to say this prayer with me, this quick prayer, before we pray, before I pray for you, before I pray for your family, before I release the word of God into your bone, your marrows, into every fiber of your being, into your family, your children, the word of God can make them whole. Pray this prayer with me. Heavenly Father, today I receive Jesus as my Lord and my Savior. I believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead. Today, I renounce sin, I renounce the devil, I renounce Satan and all his works. I declare with my mouth that Jesus is my Lord, he is my Savior. Amen. You are made whole in Jesus' name. Amen. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I release your word this moment into every part of this soul, into every life that is watching you right now. Father, let your word go forth like a hammer and destroy every blockade, whatever the enemy has built every fence, every blockade of the devil, round about them. Let the word of God shatter them right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I release your word into their bones, their marrows. I release your word into their lives, into their families, their marriages, into their businesses. Let the peace, the shalom of God, restore again 
every brokenness. In the name of Jesus, make them whole. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. God bless you.